right, keep it going for Cass Man right there, guys. Keep it going for him, right? Yeah, there we go. What's up, putos and putas? How we doing? All right, good. For those that don't speak Spanish, right over there. It translates to kings and queens, so don't worry. It's a term of endearment. It's a term of endearment. Uh, like he said, my name is Frank Xavier Escalante. For those that don't speak Spanish, it translates to I am insecure. That's right. Yes, that's right. Don't make any direct eye contact. It's just going to get weird. That's right. Uh, I am Mexican. Any Mexicans in here? No. Wow. Okay. So ice definitely didn't come this morning. Okay. That's cool. All right. I am, Me yeah, I am Mexican, which means I am fertile. So ladies, watch out. I will get you pregnant and I will ruin your credit score. That's right, there we go. Let's do it all one time. That's right. Guys, I'm getting older and I don't like it. I'm getting older and I don't like it. You know how I know I'm getting older? I'm starting to argue with myself more. You guys ever argue with yourself? Just pick unnecessary fights with yourself? I was on the freeway today and I missed my work exit. Missed my work exit by at least a mile. And immediately just start self-deprecating. I was like, you know why I always missed my work exit? Because my parents got divorced. That's exactly why, okay? I went to the Rite Aid to kind of like feel better about it. And they ran out of cookies and cream, my favorite. Mmm, mmm, delicious. They ran out of it. Immediately start self-deprecating, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know why they ran out of ice cream? Because you shit your pants in the seventh grade dance. That's exactly why they ran out of ice cream, okay? Do we watch murder documentaries, folks? No? Anybody? Yes. Woo! Yes. Hell yes. Yes, right there. All the women should be clapping, like, oh my god, I'm doing it. Just in case, you know, just in case he crosses the line, I know how to kill him, that's right. Guys, I've been thinking that we need a, we need a serial killer, guys. We need a serial killer like we need $15 an hour minimum wage, okay? We're, we're desperate for one, okay? We're due for one. In the political climate that we're in right now, it's ridiculous. But I want, a, I want a serial killer from like the 80s, you know, who had class, dignity, you know? They were created because they turned into a piece of furniture, you know what I'm saying, you know? I'd be pissed if someone made me into a piece of furniture, wouldn't you? Yeah, if someone turned me into like a piece of like a coffee table, oh, I'd never shut up, man. I'd be like, coasters please, Jesus. We're not animals, okay, this isn't a fun house, you know? What if in 20 years from now, what if in 20 years you find out that Jeffrey Dahmer, the only reason why he killed people and made them into furniture was because Ikea wasn't openly? What if that's what you find out? It's like, Mr. Dahmer, why did you mutilate the bodies and turn them into a little coffee table? Well, I really needed a lampshade, and uh, Ikea was an open late, and what well, happened to Jesus was right around me, you know? Jamal, Jeffrey, Jordan, you know? He liked black guys, guys. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, Jesus, all right? No, but honestly, we're in the time right now where we can have a nice serial killer for the good reasons. He's not a womanizer. He's not after his mom because he left him or whatever. You know, I'm not into the guys that, you know, masturbate over the victims, you know what I'm saying? Like, not of that. We need a, ki a killer that kills for good, you know what I'm saying? We need a climate killer. A climate change killer, guys, right there. This guy knows what I'm talking about. That's right. That's That's I like it. I have no clue what the fuck you said. But I like it. That's right. That was great. That's something a serial killer would say. I don't know. But uh, I think we're like, we hang out, we have a serial killer. I can imagine like he leaves a slew of dead bodies, you know, and each body has a little note on the side of it. It says, if the killings will not stop unless we reach a Green New Deal. That's exactly right, yeah. By the 300 victim, he starts saying, you know what, these killings will stop. I'm not gonna continue with this. They will continue and I'm gonna be planting a tree for every victim I kill. Pretty good, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, guys, I don't like surprises. That's right, I don't like surprises. You like surprises, sir? No, me neither. Yeah. My six-year-old sister came up to me the other day. She goes, Frankie, I want to be a gold digger. Yeah. And I was brutally honest with her. I was like, honey, you're much too ugly to be a gold digger. There's no possible way. Just stay in school. That's right. Uh, guys, how do we feel about women asking men out? Woo! Woo! Pretty good, right? Yeah. That's how I got my girl, she asked me out. Took some big ovaries to do that, you know what I'm saying? It's good stuff right there. That's some VCE energy, some big clit energy, you know what I'm saying? It's good stuff, it keeps you humble. Yeah. But I really hate when guys, I really hate when guys get denied by women and they'll pick out something easy like their weight, you know? They'll be like, you know, can I get your number beautiful? They'll be like, no. And the guy will be like, you know, I didn't want it anyway, you skinny bitch. Hate that shit, man. Guys, it's almost 2020, it's 2019, you gotta step your game up, you know what you gotta do? Talk about our makeup. 
Talk about her makeup. I guarantee you she'll remember you forever. Before I met my lovely girlfriend, I was asking girls out left and right like crazy. And my main, my main rebuttal for them saying no was, you know what, I didn't want it anyway. Look at your left eyebrow, it's higher than the other one. Why am I gonna want to deal with you? Attention to detail, you know what I'm saying? I asked another girl, I was like, you know what, can I get your number beautiful? Let's do this. She goes, no. And I was like, you know what, I didn't want it anyway. Look at your neck, it's not even blended in with your face. Like, why am I gonna deal with you? She goes, how dare you? I was like, well, how dare you? How dare you step out of the house, you know? Uh, guys, I tried to tell my dad the other day that I wanted to make a bucket list with him. Yeah. And I, the first thing I said is, Dad, let's get crazy, let's get high. I want to get you high. And before I could finish my sentence, he goes, Frankie, I can't get high. Because if I get high, I get horny. <laughs> I was like, Dad, I just like you as a friend, man. Shit, Jesus, man. Forget that. All right, guys, it's been my time. Thank you guys so much. My name is Frankie Xavier. I love you.